So, hi, my, my name is uh, Ralph Beuker. I'm uh, yeah, here with my accent. I'm from Germany. Um, actually, I'm a practicing professor for design management. I run a design school. And beside and from all of this, um, I'm interested in uh, what design thinking can add to the world. My name is Eric Roskam Abing. I have a consultancy called Silver Innovation in the Netherlands. And what we do is customer insights, branding, innovation strategy, and design. Uh, we do a lot of service design projects based on the notion that uh, companies need to know who their customers are, what they want. They need to know who they are as a company, what they value, what their vision is. And from there on, you need to be re really, really innovative. And I use a lot of design thinking in my practice. Um, and I uh, also teach at the TU in Delft. And I work with Ralph a lot. Yeah, likewise. I guess the essence of what we presented was that how, how, can, how can this notion of design thinking and, and, and more the, the strategic levels of design um, really help organizations like Swisscom? Um, at least that was the point we were trying to make. Often it's um, uh, this whole discussion about um, employing design not so much as designing nice artifacts or nice, you know, nice looking objects, but much more designing strategies or designing the future of a company um, gets to a level where it gets a bit too theoretical and too academic. Uh, what Ralph and I tried to show today is through eight simple statements and a number of examples of a case uh, we did for Virgin Mobile in Australia to make it more practical and more easy to understand. If I can add one sentence is, uh, it was also about to, to show that design is, or designing is not an exclusive activity, it's, it's inclusive, it includes many disciplines, many people, um, in contrast to the common notion that design is something exclusive for a limited community, um, and that it adds only value at the high end of whatever you might think. No, design adds value to a lot of nodes and, and, and departments in an organization. Exactly. Yeah, it's so obvious one, that, two, you, three. <laughs> that you leave it to me. One, two, three. You do no, two, that. I do one. <laughs> you want to start? Yeah, I think um, that it's not so much about you have, you have design that's very practical, and then you have design management, which is more strategic, and then you have design thinking, which is very high up. It's not about that. It's not about creating these levels of hierarchy. It's about employing design in the right way, in the right context for the right problem. And sometimes you need a very good product designer or a service designer who can simply design a new touch point. And sometimes you need to be more strategic and use a more design thinking approach to resolve a very complex issue. That doesn't make one better than the other or that doesn't create a hierarchy. It's simply, and that's, that was our last statement, design leadership is about um, using design the right way in the right context. So that's, that will be takeaway one. I, I read more takeaways no, from it was that, only you one. covered them all. <laughs> it was only um, one. But, but actually I think um, what we also wanted to uh, communicate is that design is, a, is also a democratic activity. Design, if you, if you really um, think design, if you live design, it's a democratic act because it's, again, I repeat myself, it's an inclusive, um, it's an inclusive act. And, um, but what, what people shouldn't forget is, even though I'm a fan of the notion that everybody is a designer these days, because if, desi if the core of design um, is at creating valuable processes, so everybody can be a designer, but still what we also hopefully communicated is um, that, that management or business is profiting from design thinking by using designerly approaches. That means at a certain point, um, you need to, by the same token, for, for finding solution for business problems, you need to include managers because they decide about budgets and about money. You need to include them. But at a certain point, it's not so much about what we've discussed internally today, about creativity. It's not bringing creative people because literally we are all creative people and designers, they have the notion they are a bit more weird and creative than others, but that's not the point. 
um, but it's also to bring in designers because from, from their education they can bring in their skills but bring them in into a different context. It's not about te making managers teaching about how to draw, that's not the exercise, but it's really learn what the insights from these drawings are and from that point they learn from each other and I think that, that should have been a key takeaway. But even though we had two statements, I think we covered more than three points, right? I can do one third, if I may. Um, because? I think um, the world is getting more and more complex, and businesses are facing really, really huge challenges. And a favorite quote of mine from Martin Neumeier is, this is the kind of complexity that you can't manage your way out of. You have to design your way out of it. I think designers have the opportunity to be a you know, to play a key role in the future of organizations if they are willing to let go of design as being this creative black box, this sort of we are more artistic than you and we knew know how to draw better, and if they, building on Ralph's point, become more inclusive and say, okay, so what can we contribute to this, to, 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 to solving this complexity? And that means understanding business, that means understanding how business metrics work, that means being part of the company and not being this separate uh, department where maybe the furniture is a bit more artistic than elsewhere, but otherwise you're isolated. So really my tip to Swisscom design would also be don't isolate yourself, become part of the company go out there and work with business people because that's where the real complexity lies. That was it? Yes. Okay. Oh, I, I mean, I you was, had so much I more was, to say. Yeah, I was in the mode for another half an hour. I mean, I was, I was feeling pity with your arms <laughs> yeah. in the meantime. <laughs> you felt yeah. pity for your arms as well. Yeah. <laughs> but, then I, but then I thought, I it's, saw it's that the perfect going. workout. <laughs> I, I, I already yeah. saw it. I thought, yeah. wow. <laughs> and, it, and it's also... Okay, it's yeah. just, okay, start again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>